Hello there, Quicksilver Slash, and today I've got a World of Tanks video for you. It's been a while since I've put one of these out, and I've been focusing on ships primarily, but I wanted a bit of a change from the action, so me and Flying Goomba hopped into tanks to see what we could accomplish. I'm driving my trusty Tier 9 British Tank Destroyer, the Tortoise, and this thing is fully upgraded, and what a difference it makes to be in the fully upgraded version. I liked the slightly smaller gun, it had a great rate of fire, but having this 120, it just devastates. So I waited for a bit there at the start, kind of seeing where people went, and you can see our team is pushing the valley hard. So I feel it's kind of my responsibility to get onto the other side, try to find a position, and just hold the line as long as I can. And where I want to get is up in here. I like the rocks, they give you good cover, and there's enough of a dip here that you can use it to really defend yourself. Unfortunately, I'm going to be forced to change my mind pretty quickly, as you'll see here in just a moment. You can see something shot at me, but missed by a wide mark. I think I was spotted for a split second there. But I don't know because I do not have six cents on this crew. And I'm seeing a couple heavy tanks, T-44 and Object 430. There's no way I can hold from up here because they'll get around to my left and get in and be shooting me in the back. And the one thing this tank does not do well is taking shots from the side or rear. So first I was hoping to get up around there and then I realized that wouldn't be a very safe place for me because I can't get any supporting fire from the hill. So I bunker down next to this rock because it's going to give me good flank protection from the right as you can see and I call for help and I'm asking Goomba to get into a position to assist me and you can see him pulling forward getting into that spot. I get the first shot into the WZ, I aim for the track, shell goes a little to the right and hits that beaked nose, and now it's kind of deciding what to do. Goomba is telling me if you can drag them a little farther back, more of us will have shots, so I do just that. I try to start pulling back, I put a tracking shot into that WZ there, and I managed to get just far enough back on this ridge that he doesn't have a shot and I'm lucky to get a penetrating shot on that other WZ-111 as he comes over the edge at me. Now begins the kind of fun game of Carousel the TD and I'm just doing my best to stay out of the way of that ridge fire. See Goomba gets a fire and that WZ-111 explodes and absolutely miss a shot on that 430, but thankfully my allies aren't. I aim at that inner track wheel, go straight in, and I get my first kill. But three tanks weren't enough. You can see an IS and T-44 coming for me now, and they're quickly getting eaten apart by that ridge as well. Put a low roll into the IS there. And really, as long as I stay close to him, there's no chance of him getting through the front of my tank. And Goomba finishes off that T-44 for me. And just look at this graveyard of tanks that all came to kill the tortoise. And really, what that came down to was a bit of communication. I talked to at least Goomba, and... I had other guys sitting on this ridge line, and just based off what Goomba was telling me, I knew I needed to pull back a little farther to really give everyone uh, vision. And the circle on the map would have told me to, but I wasn't even looking at that. I was staring straight ahead at all those enemies coming for me. I auto lock here at the KV-3, not too concerned about any of his tank bouncing my shells. And you can see, team has a great lead, and that's when a Chiri pops up. And that's what I was talking about, about that side armor. You can see, he was able to put them in just in the back. I think they were going into the track. 
and you know if you can keep the frontal armor to things at long range you're gonna be lucky and bounce shells but if they get any kind of shots at your side or your back those shells are going in So I continue to push along this side all alone, but really at this point it's just a couple artillery pieces, T-54 lightweight, and this T-95 who I have just a bit of his tank to shoot at. First shell goes in, 378 damage, another low roll. Second shell goes in, 418, much better. And as you can see, should be doing 400 average damage. So. Unfortunately, it's here the gun starts to misbehave a bit, and I'm aiming for pretty much the same spot I always was, and the shells just keep looping a little left, a little right, missing the thin edge that I can see. He gets Flying Goomba before the T-95 gets killed, and now it's just a para arty and the T-54, so I go for the T-54's last known position, hoping to maybe get a kill shot in, but... That just won't be the case. And that's when the GW Tiger gets spotted, so I aim up there, I can see him backing up, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm patient, I get the tightest edge, and right as I fire, he gets killed by our Artie. So after having missed the first one, the second that second gets spotted, I fire, and I miss by a mile. But thankfully, this gun has an amazing reload, and I get the kill, securing a third kill for myself. What a game. Mastery, fire for effects, spotter, bruiser, confederate, and high caliber. I finished TD-15, for me at this point was caused 4,000 damage, destroy two vehicles, and just look at all that spotting. No surprise, top of team, 4,500 damage done, and those three kills. But look at the assistance damage, another 4,700. So between the two, creeping up on nearly 10 gram as far as damage and assistance. And it was just a hilarious game for me at the start of it. I was surrounded, I knew I was alone on that flank and I tried to put myself and Goomba asked me to just back up a bit and the second I did that entire ridge of support for me overwhelmed everything that came to me and tanks just started exploding and somehow I didn't. If you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up or consider subscribing, both would help me out, keep me making these videos and as always I'm Quickers Over Slash and I'll have another one for you tomorrow.